Right off of 
this today. Yeah, you can fill me up, right? Okay, we call this a draft drive. All right, so do it again. Start all over. I just want the coaches who are unfamiliar with this to see it. Okay? I'm going to freeze you in this minute. Okay, freeze. 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 Freeze right here. Freeze. Freeze. I want to show you why this works. Look, if you didn't cut, if you didn't, and you drive, I'm the most natural helping defender, right? And you pitch it here, I got a one step closeout, right? But when he passes and cuts, he takes me away. So who helps? It should be this guy. But excellent, excellent. But see, he's filling up, so he turns and goes back because of circle movement. I very rarely see your defender rotating and catching this guy. I know he should, we all know he should, but it's a kind of timing issue. It's so quick, you'll beat this, he will beat your defender. But you were right, you were filling up, and the moment he drives, you gotta feel back. It's a momentum change for your defender. Good stuff in the way. If, if your defender stays with you, lay up for him. If I, if I actually do stuff, you're in natural pitch, right? Okay, go, get a few reps. So drive, bounce off once, pass and cut, draft, drive. Pass, pass, cut, draft it. All the way to the right hand. Yeah. No, why don't you go all the way to the left hand. Start over, you're, you're good. Go for the right So one bounce off, pass and cut, draft him, draft, draft. All the way to the right hand. yeah. And that's why we drill it. Shoot your leg up, right, go, keep going. Get out of your way. Right. And this is this is perfect. See, I don't think they've done this. This is exactly the way it goes in practice. And keep going, black talk. You guys just keep going. All right, that's off. Pass to anybody. Direct it. Excellent, excellent, excellent. The coaches, if we had time and we had five defenders, I'd put them out here in shell defense and just say, don't touch the ball. You know, and start working on that defense and let them see the timing of this, okay? But that's about the best stuff. Oh, okay. I want you to do the same thing, but now pass the corner and cut. The corner's going to draft you. Okay, sure, show me. Okay. Yeah, pass, cut, draft you. Right. Excellent, excellent. Does that make sense? So I, I start working my draft drives into my circle movement, okay? I got one more for you because I'm gonna run out of time. I want you, I bet you can do this, just me telling you, okay? I'm that confident. I want you to drive, bounce off, and of course there'll be someone in the corner, there'll be someone here. I don't want you to pass. I want you to dribble at, let's dribble at the corner. And when he cuts, I want you to draft him. Just turn it, lean in, and draft it all the way for the leg. Okay, go. Bounce off. Good. Dribble and draft him. Yes, sir. Yeah. I want you to dunk it and then celebrate all the way down. <laughs> you, but you are right. Yes. And see, hey, that's excellent. That's my next progression is I want you to not make it, have to plan, turn back, and sit. He's got to be there. Safety valve will take the three. That's kind of that progression. More than that. What happens if you don't make it? That just leads you to the next girl, right? Try that once. Go ahead. So, drive, that's all. Dribble at and dress. There is no defense here. There's no defense. That's why. Very good. Very good, guys. How am I on time? How much? 45. It's still 1 o'clock. Oh, shh. 45? Okay. Man, I was rushing through this, sorry. I thought I had about 15 minutes. And I can back up and get some that I skipped over. I got some water. Just slow down here. Just kidding. Very good. Uh, that's why I was rushing through. My bad. Okay. Um, Then I want you to do the same thing. You'll we'll start here. You guys can go either way, all right? And when you get to the wing, on the bounce off, when you get to the wing, you can dribble at 
either way and then drafted them. So we, we dribbled at the corner and drafted. When you get here, you can also dribble at the top. When he cuts, you draft him all the way for like, and you two would have to start the move, right? Let's try it. Good. 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 Dribble in here and draft him. Good. Good. Keep going. And one of the things that I'm looking for here is how clean you can Can I do this? Yeah, keep going. Move on, drive to it. And I think right there. Go ahead, keep going. Keep going. I don't want to correct him right now, but he needs to reverse pivot to throw back. Good. 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 One of the things that I, I, I like is kind of rehearsal without defense. So that I can really concentrate on you guys being very clean with your action. You get here. You want to dribble at him? He needs to see your numbers. You need to turn like this and face him and make this obvious what I'm doing. Be very clean in your actions, okay? Because your, your, your teammates are reading you. They don't know whether to cut or, or uh, circle and move. Okay? Um, if you're going to drive, make sure that you break the arc. Because if you break the arc, that means we circle and move, right? Is that good? Uh, great, great, great. Okay, now, gee whiz, this can go on and on. I'll give you one example here. Uh, I would like three bounce offs. Okay? Three bounce offs and um, and then we'll score with a dribble at a layup. Okay? So three times you bounce off and then dribble at somebody, hit them for a layup. Okay? Go. Take your time right there. Yeah. Hope so. Good. Good, 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 good. Start the ball in that corner. Hey, three dribble outs could, I mean, uh, three bounce offs could be all in the same direction if you want. Here. What's this? Good. That's all. Good. Drive it here. Get all the way to the spot. Come on. Come right here. Good. Yeah, now drill it at somebody. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Very good. So that's just kind of my, my progression. Now there is an art to this. And the art that I'm talking about is what do my players need? You know? And I tend to take live action. You know, the scrimmage or the game before. And I keep a, I keep notes like a diagnostic uh, test. What is it that, where is the offense sticking? Where does it look like they don't know what's next? Oh, they did this good and they got here and they froze. Well, that's going to determine this kind of a drill. Okay. I need to work on their next action when they get to here. Okay, then they seem to stop. Well, I'm going to show them what the next action is and we're going to drill. So there's a, a little bit of a little bit of art there. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see. Again, I, I want you guys to alternate in on this. Sorry. The first place I start the pen and skip is I started with three players. So uh, let's go. You can stay there on that wing. You can stay on that wing. Uh, drop off. Come into the post. Yeah, that's fine. Drop off, and you can drop. Off. So let's just start with three players. This is the classic pin and skip drill. So I'm on defense. I'm guarding him. Okay. So I'm in here helping. There's the ball. I want you to come from the post, come right here, turn your back. 
No, I'm sorry, I turned it back to you. Yeah. Call pen. Really? Yeah. You're going to skip it? Go ahead. You're going to open up here because I'm going to try to get around. Okay. So our first option is you're going to catch and shoot. Okay. All right. And then you guys just rotate. All right. Let's do a couple of those. Go. I'll be, I'll be the I'll be the Come on. Good. Open up. Catch and shoot. Good. Now rotate. Rotate. I don't care how. You can put a chair here. You can put a minute manager here. Good. Rotate. Now feed the post for a score. Feed the post. Good. Open up. Feed him. Now feed, feed the post for the score. Keep going. Rotate. Rotate. The message that I'm trying to send is this is a great way to get the ball inside. It's not just another drill. I'm sending the message. This is how we can get the ball inside to him. Come on, come on. Yes, he can pin, skip. Okay. Now, put someone in here that's a little more lively. Go ahead, pin, skip, and sink me. Sink me deep in here. Yeah, try to sink me. Don't just open up and roll to an open area. Okay? All right, go. Keep going. Go to so, coaches, in the, in the last session, we were talking about how do we teach our fundamentals and our offense at the same time and defense at the same time. And to me, I, I'm always looking for two things at one time. So, here's the pin and skip. But now I want to start teaching him about sealing me and sticking me in here deeper on this post up. Okay, go. Yeah, good. See, oh, good. Very good. Good. Excellent. Okay, easy enough, right? Oh, while we're here, I'm not so deep. Okay, go ahead, pin me. Skip, open up. Feed him, Laker cut, Laker cut, right? And so we just go right into uh, everything that we did on a Laker cut. One more time, rotate, rotate. And I'm going to take you through all of these. But, hey, when you're going to feed the post. I'm sorry, you're going to catch. He's going to open up here in the post. I want you to drive baseline, which means you'll go excellent. All right, here we go. Get up in and skip. Good. Open up. Drop baseline. In here. So I get layer seven and layer five at the same time. All right. Keep rotating. Now I can give you guys a choice after a while. I either drive baseline or drive the middle. If you drive middle, he's got to go there, right? Okay. I'm ready. Here we go. Pin and skip. In. Good. Open up. I stop the drive, it's in there, all right, keep going. Drive the middle this time. So I'm here, here, open up, drive the middle, I right have Yeah, and that's why we drill, to, to really work on his hands to be able to bounce, bounce that, okay? Now, hold up. Coaches, this is just for the clinic, okay? Because each one of these, I, I, I'm, I will add them the next day. You know, we'll drill pin and skip one day, and then tomorrow, next day, it's pin and skip, and now we feed the post. That day. Then the next day, it's pin and skip, post up, drive baseline, and I slowly build. So I'm not throwing this at them all at one time, okay? I just want to show you that. In order for the read and react to become automatic, non-thinking, decisive, aggressive, I've got to spend a lot of time in repetition. You just have to, okay? Basketball IQ is not as important as we think it is. It really isn't, okay? Uh, we'll build it. It's good to have it. I'm, I'm, I'm very interested in them knowing why, but I just need them to move where I say to move, okay? And that just comes by drilling and drilling and drilling and drilling. But drilling is boring. And I want, I want to keep their brain active. I want to do the same.
same things, the things that we're going to do in the game, but I need to keep their interest up. I can't do the same drill every single day. I know we need the reps, but I've got to keep their interest a lot. I've got to show them, I'm trying to send a message that, look, I'm trying to turn you into a player, not an executor. Not someone who just does what we say to do over here, okay? I'm trying to actually build you know, a game in you, okay? But I, 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 we still got to get the reps. It's the only way to get really, really good at this. So, this is my way of trying to kind of keep their interest, all right? Uh, all right, before we leave this one. Thank <laughs> you. 
freeze. I want you to freeze. Just stop. Okay, go. Freeze. So coaches, you tell me if you were happy with this and you want them to learn the next best action from here in the game, you tell me, somebody, anybody, what, what do you, what's next in this drill? Don't shoot it, what do you want him to do? Drive, drive baseline. So this is layer six for us. Layer six and layer five, okay? So if you're going to drive baseline, you're going to have to go up. You've got to get that opposite corner. And you are just about right, that's right. So when you drive baseline, you get about right here. You're either going to pitch it there, pitch it 45, pitch it up to 90, or safety down. Okay? Excellent. And that's just the way this, you know, you build these drills to go from one action to the next. I'm ready to go. Set to 10. Good job. Open up, drive baseline. Perfect. 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 Uh, somebody give me another one. Instead of driving baseline, feed the post. So, after you set the pin, I want you to open right back up to the post because he's going to feed the post and we're going to, what do you want, a maker cut or an X cut? Maker cut, we want a maker cut. Uh, I want you to alternate, guys. Whoever's in the post, you can either hit the maker cutter or you can fake it and make your move opposite the score, just like we did earlier. Go, go. Very good. Yep, pin, pin. Open up, boom, make your cut. Nice, and rotate. And rotate. And coaches, once I've named these, you guys keep going. Once I've named these, I can warm up and practice this way. So instead of wasting time, uh, with uh, a warm up that doesn't really apply to the game. I'll tell them, look for a warm up, we got a bounce off, set the pin screen, uh, drill. Get five in there, five in there, let's go. Move about 60%, let's get loose. So they get the warm up, but we get layups, we get shots, and we get uh, to review three or four actions and redirect all at one time.
three different college re-react teams. Every game, and I uh, edited them, cut their clips out, so I'm very familiar this past year. And my feeling is, most possessions, they link about three or four actions together before a shot is found, okay? So it's kind of silly to keep going with this and, and link 10 actions together. It just doesn't, you know, uh, it doesn't work that way out, work its way out like that in the game. It's usually just about three or four actions. Um, but we could, we could just keep on going with this and link one to the next. All right, I want, uh, and coaches, I'm picking the ones that I've seen uh, work really good in the game. Okay, I've got game, game clips for these. All right, I need, uh, no, you guys are set up just fine. I want the ball right there. Okay. And, uh, let's see. Here. Yeah, you're going to pass, you're going to cut. Okay, we're going to pretend this is not open, but on his way out, he gives the screen. We've already been over this with three players, right? So he gives the screen. And uh, my first step is uh, you're going to hit this post and score. Now, uh, for those that were in the last session, the University of Iowa does this a lot because it's a big little screen. Okay? That, those two are are smaller players that start it. And this is a big player and they don't want to switch it. So this is how they get their big little screens, if you like that kind of thing. If it is an advantage, okay? You dare them to switch this, okay? So, I'd like for you guys to, we always start the ball up there, opposite the post. We want to screen for the post. post. Both posts can come off top side or bottom side, catch and score, okay? Go, all right. You guys get some reps, sub in, right? Sub in, rotate in. But in my language with these players, keep going. Uh, it starts at opposite the post. Yeah, there you go. Um, I would like to be able to say in a timeout, guys, girls, we need a big little screen. We need a big little screen. Let's get a big little screen. Well, now we know how to get a big little screen. Okay. Great, so I'm kind of happy with that, all right? All right. So I said the ball always starts here, all right? Check this out. Put the ball here. No, no, no. Check this out. We want the big little screen. We know where the ball's got to be. So my next step in this drill is you're going to dribble at this point. Go ahead, dribble at that. Go. There's your big little, right? But we're going to feed them from here. We're going to feed them from the guard position. Is that, is that good? All right, good. Start right there. So I'm trying to train these players when they look in the post. Oh, the post is ball side. Hmm. We've already been over a bunch of dribble last year. Keep going. A bunch of dribble last year. Cool. What if I dribble like this way? Send my player in. Yes, cool. Send my player in and get a big little screen. So don't hesitate on this first. You're just going to dribble that wing as fast as you can. We're going to get two staggered screens and wait on them, okay? I'm ready to go. One, two, yeah. Boom, boom, and we feel good. Keep going. Now, I notice, keep going, guys. I notice some hesitation by the screeners. They don't know what to do after they scream. That's going to be my next drill. All right, keep going. Go, go. Yeah, now, what do those guys do? Yeah. That may be the next, the next part of this drill is to tell those screamers what to do. Go, keep going. Go. 
So I don't want them just to stand and look in there. So after you scream, for instance, you were the second screener. So after you scream here, screening is always followed by an action. You scream and something. So if the post came off of you and went there, the guy in front of you popped there, you've got to go there. You've got to find an empty spot. You've got to do something. Maybe it's shape up to the ball in here. I don't know. That way we get a high low. But we can't just scream and then stop and look around, okay? Either, either do something in the decision box, go to a spot, or go to an empty spot on the perimeter. Go. 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 Good, okay. I will start the ball back here, just like we started. Okay, I want you to pass. Go ahead. Pass, cut, set your screen. Come on, fill guys, come on. Post up, hit him. Make your leg a cut. And we're going to score. And you've got to fill, and you've got to fill, right? Because I'm going to go to another action in a minute. Okay, keep going. Let's get a few of those. We're going to score on the leg for cut. So a big little screen, and score on the leg for cut. Boom, boom, good. Leg for cut. Keep going. Oh, four out and one in. Uh, in four out and one in, we actually have two guards. Yeah, in two wins, go. You leave that one out. Good, good, good. Now we're supposed to score opposite. <laughs> go. Very good, very good. Keep going. So we're right back into all those drills after you feed a post and make the cut. Great, okay. The next most natural one is I want you to feed this post. You go out, the Laker cut goes off. They're not open, and of course, I asked you guys to fill, remember? I said fill, because I want this guy in the post to hit somebody for a three point shot. So here's our sequence now pass and cut. Don't, don't, I don't want you to go directly to the screen. You cut the score first, okay? This is not false offense the way they do in the NBA where it's, we do this, 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 and then we get to the scoring action. You get a legitimate chance to score on this cut. So you go to score first. Oh, I didn't get it? Okay, now I'm gonna come give you the screen. Then you come, you catch it. Oh, I'm not open. Okay, well then here comes the Laker cut. Ooh, Laker cut's not open. Why aren't they open? Because defense has collapsed in. So I'm going to fan it to somebody who wants to shoot our three. Okay? No, I'm going to hit our three. Right? Okay, go. Oh, good cut. Good screen. Get ready. Good. There's a lucky cut. Hit anybody you want. Yeah, you've got to fill. I need you to fill a little more about right in there. Because I want him to fill up and have pretty good spacing all the way around. Good. Keep going. Get a few of those. Because 
This guy's hogging the lane, following the ball. Ball, ball, ball. No, you had your chance right here when the ball was here, right? Put the ball here. So we gave you a screen, you came, you had your chance. You're going to get another chance, but we got to give him a chance first. So he passes, you're going to screen for this cutter, good. And then he's going to shape up. I don't care whether you duck in like this, or you've got this whole side. You can pop out here, catch, rip and go, right? Whatever your game is, okay? So, I don't care who you hit. I want them to be fresh and frosty on this. Keep them, uh, keep them guessing. You can hit the cutter or you can hit the post shaping up to score. Is that good? All right, so we're just pretending the post isn't open when we pull the screen. Go. Good, yeah, feeling good? Good. Excellent, good. Rotate. Make sure you rotate in, right? Every time somebody scores, you somebody. Figure out the rotation. And if you notice, keep going, guys. They're doing a great job. But if you notice how this has slowed down a little bit for them, we're getting into actions linked together that they're not uh, familiar with. And this, so this is natural. That they, that, uh, that's why you drill them. I want them familiar with the next action in this situation. Down as a drill. This is excellent, okay? We're going to, we're going to uh, let's walk through this. Go ahead. Pass, cut, get through your big little screen. This player comes. This player's not open. Go ahead, fill that out. All right, so we're here. We're at this point where you're not open. And instead of, uh, uh, I'm sorry, we are going to feed you. Uh, instead of micro cutting, go ahead, hit him. We're going to X cut, right? But at the same time, now, at the same time of this X cut, he sets a pin screen on this defender. Come right here, set a pin screen. Really high pin screen. Fade, right. And your option, you've got everybody as an option. Yes, you've got that over there. You've got him slipping on the screen. You've got this player who sets the X cut going, and this player coming here, and if the defense plays all that, you can just go on and on. Okay? So I really liked that pin and skip happening on the weak side at the same time that the X cut is happening over here. Okay? Go ahead, give a shot. Let's watch the time on this. Here's the X cut. That's right, yeah, come on. Oh, you had it. You see the timing of that? That was just, that was really, really sweet. And again, I said, hey, if I can drill it, if I can put it in a drill, the players can, can get used to that. Okay, good. 
And yeah, you know, low tip. Low tip. Low tip somehow. I know this rotation. You guys figure it out. That's much. Yeah, this is the first step. I think the next step is to put defense on this. Before I do anything else, keep going, keep going. Because I've got to teach this guy who cuts which way to cut depending on how he, uh, he or she is defending. Walk 
good this morning. Your pass cut. Good. Got a screen. Now, this time, I want you to fill out both sides. See, there are some teams I want this action versus filling away. Maybe I don't want to isolate you. Okay? Because now, when you go, let's walk through it. Go. That's right. And where do you go? And coaches, I'm telling you, if you want a three-point shot wide open, every time, just throw back to the safety valve off of a ball screen this way. It's amazing how many times it's over. Nine out of ten times, that's over. But you've got now four options. You score, hit the guy rolling, natural pitch, or go back to your safety valve. Okay, get a couple of, couple of reps there. Thank you.